All right, I want to bring in Daniel Lippman, who joins us here in Washington, D.C. He is Politico's White House reporter. Daniel, really great to have you with us. Uh, the president joked that he wished that he could watch Biden so he could see if Biden makes it through the program. So even though they're not facing off with each other directly on the same stage, we can expect those kinds of attacks. But in terms of who will watch, what do you think Americans, how do you think Americans will choose their channel rather? I think there are a lot of Americans who won't even watch it because they're, they're sick and tired of this endless campaign. It's gone on for uh, almost since Trump was elected four years ago. Uh, and so they, you know, would rather watch sports. But I think for the political junkies, uh, they're going to probably tune in a majority to Trump's town hall, even though it was scheduled after Biden's. Trump is just more entertaining, says more interesting and unconventional stuff. Uh, and, you know, the Biden town hall, people will watch it if they want to kind of fall asleep, but not if they want to be entertained. And most Americans uh, during this pandemic, uh, they, they're looking for entertainment of one sort or, or another. Interesting. Daniel, how do you see the respective candidates performing in this particular format? I think Joe Biden is, you know, does a pretty good job uh, in these formats because uh, he is you know, pretty in tune to uh, the people and, and what they're looking for. Uh, and you know, he is pretty good at the heart to hearts. And Trump, uh, who likes to kind of keep a distance from even his own supporters, especially during, uh, you know, before the pandemic or before he got coronavirus because he didn't want to get infected. Uh, he is not as good at, you know, heart to hearts or share, show, showing empathy. And that's something that suburban voters uh, aren't that happy about because they want to show Trump kind of gets it and, and really cares about Americans. And Daniel, what do you think President Trump's strategy is here in the final stretch before the November election? I think, um, you know, President Trump is trying to get out his base uh, and um, remind people that he built a pretty good economy uh, for the first few years of his administration, that it was torn down by coronavirus and by China, in his view. And so he wants to say that America is going to be, you know, have a great year ahead of us if we can get that vaccine. Uh, and he's going to go hard on the law and order uh, argument and say that Trump, that Biden is not um, going to keep Americans safe and that your uh, suburban neighborhood is going to uh, get hit by looting, basically. Daniel Lippman with Politico, we really appreciate your analysis. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you.